Hello everyone, I'm sure you heard in the news about the stock market turmoil due to the unwinding of the Japanese carry trade. The Nasdaq Tech Heavy Index dropped more than 10% from its recent high. So what is this unwinding of the Japanese carry trade? Let's break it into two components, the unwinding part and the Japanese carry trade. Unwinding is a fancy word for selling. It refers to the process of when investors sell out their position that they established initially using the yen carry trade. So what is the yen carry trade? The yen carry trade involves borrowing money from Japan at a low interest rate, taking this money, converting it into another currency like US dollar and investing this money in a high earning asset like a US treasury or investing that money in US stocks earning more than what the Japanese borrowing rate. Quick profit, quick easy profit. This trade is usually carried by who? Speculators. What happened recently is this. The Bank of Japan raised the interest rate from 0.1% to 0.25%. As a result, the Japanese currency appreciated in value. The best way to illustrate this is to take a look at an actual example. Let's assume in early July 2024, Tom, a US speculator, borrowed 10 million Japanese yen at an interest rate of 1%. Tom took this money, converted it to US dollar, which converted to $62,000. Tom took this money and invested the $62,000 in a higher interest-bearing investments like US Treasury bond. Or Tom invested this money in the stock market and purchased Nvidia or some other stock, earning a higher rate. For the sake of this illustration, assuming US Treasury is paying 5%. Tom is expecting to make 4%. 5% minus the one borrowing rate equal to 4%. So the $62,000 would earn 4% for Tom and Tom will keep the profit, go back, buy the Japanese yen, expecting to pay around $62,000 and pocket the profit. What happened is this. Early August, if you needed to buy one Japanese yen, you needed 0.0069 of a dollar rather than 0.0062 in July. This means Tom will need $69,000 to pay off the loan. What would Tom and people like Tom would do in those circumstances? Well, what can they do? They will need to buy Japanese money now. Why? Because the fear is the Japanese yen keeps on strengthening. So what would they do? They will take their money if they have extra money on hand and they will buy Japanese yen. And what is that going to do? That's going to bid the Japanese yen higher. Which, which will make it worse for other investors like themselves. That's assuming they have the money. If they don't have the money, what would they have to do? They will have to liquidate. They will have to sell their current position, whether that's an Nvidia stock, Apple stock, US Treasury, putting pressure, down pressure on stock prices, on bond prices, on the investment that they invested in. And this cycle is vicious. As you sell more, the price will drop more. As it drops more, there's more, more fear and the cycle will keep on going. The risk of this trade is we don't know the size of the Japanese carry trade. We don't know how much money is involved in that trade. That's the bad news. The good news is the Bank of Japan decided not to raise interest rate anymore. What is the moral of the story? Don't be a gambler. Don't be a gambler. Don't be a speculator. If you want to invest, be careful. The first thing you do is invest in yourself. How? Through education through career growth, through certifications. And if you have extra money, invest carefully because the market is ruthless. Farhat Lectures is always here for you, whether you are studying for your CPA exam, CMA exam, enrolled agent, if you're an accounting student. Good luck and stay safe.